All right, going to show you that seeing Jesus Christ is seeing God the Father. And this totally destroys the Trinity heresy, the satanic heresy of the Trinity. The Trinity comes from occultism, it comes from paganism, it comes from Satanism. The Trinity is not scriptural at all. And it comes from Roman Catholicism too. The Roman Catholics borrowed the Trinity concept from occultists and pagans that, that preceded Roman Catholicism. They borrowed it from Greek paganism, Roman paganism, Egyptian paganism, all that stuff. The Trinity is unscriptural. And there is separation in the Godhead. I'll just put that out there. In the Godhead there is separation, okay? Body, soul, and spirit, which is what God is made of. Body, soul, and spirit. Jesus is the body. Father is the soul. Holy Ghost is the spirit. Body, soul, and spirit can separate. That is true. You see that at the baptism of Jesus in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Okay? The Son is on earth, the Father is in heaven, and the Holy Ghost comes down like a dove. So there is separation there. Okay? But it does not mean there are three persons, okay? Nowhere does the term God in three persons or Trinity appear anywhere in Scripture. It's an added term that was added by the Roman Catholic Church as scriptural truth when really they just borrowed it. It's a man-made term. They openly admit it's a philosophical term. But going to show you from the Scriptures that while there is separation in the Godhead, seeing Jesus Christ is seeing the Father, proving that Jesus Christ and God the Father are the same person, okay? God is not three persons, God is one person. John chapter 14 verses 7 to 9. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me, hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father. Notice that. He's saying you have both you have seen him and known him. Or saying you have known him and seen him. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Doesn't get any more clearer than that. Okay? You can compare that with 2 Corinthians 4, verses 4 to 6, Colossians 1, 13 to 15, and Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2 to 3, which talks about Jesus being the image of God, the, the image of the glory of God. Paraphrasing, of course, but Jesus is the image of God. That's why when you see him, you're seeing the Father. That simple. There's no trinity. The trinity is a heresy. John chapter 12, verses 44 to 45. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Same thing you read in John 14. Seeing him is seeing the Father. You're seeing Jesus Christ. You're seeing the one who sent him. Jesus is the image of God. That's simple. And last verse, John chapter 15, verses 23 to 24. He that hateth me, hateth my Father also. Uh, if I had not done among them many works, or done no works, which none other man did, they had not they had not had sin, but now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. Not good at reading on a computer, it does hurt my eyes. But notice that. He that hateth me hateth my father. They have both seen and hated me and my father. You know, that's what Jesus was saying. I'm not saying I'm saying that, just that's what Jesus was saying. But you're hating Jesus Christ, you're hating the Father. Exactly. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus is the image of God. There is no trinity. God is one person. Okay? And again, the Godhead can separate. You see that, again, the baptism of Jesus in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. There is separation in the Godhead. But Jesus Christ is one being. God is one being. He's one person. Okay? Consisting of a body, soul, and spirit. Again, that's what Jesus says. You're seeing him. You're seeing the Father. Because when you're looking at me, you're looking at my soul. Jesus says you're looking at him. You're looking at his soul. You know, he doesn't like, say that verbatim, but that's what is going on there. You're seeing Jesus Christ, you're seeing his soul, God the Father. So don't be deceived by the Trinity heresy. Uh, the Trinity is indeed a heresy. It claims oh, God is just one one person, one being. Well, they don't claim God is one person, but they say God is one being. But really, they believe in three gods. They have three gods who are all gods, they're all a separate person, but they're somehow not three gods. It's a nutty heresy. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.